Hello, welcome to The Untidy Artist. Today we're going to make a no-sew ballet tutu. My model is my beautiful niece, Miss Mila. She is a ballerina and the inspiration for this video. Let's grab our supplies. You'll need braided elastic for the waist, one half to three quarters of an inch, a needle and thread to sew it, sharp scissors, a cutting board from my kitchen you can see there, and a cutting mat for sewing, and then your tool. For this tutorial, I decided to use a variety of different kinds of tool. This is six inch wide tool that comes on the rolls. It's easier to manage and cut. I have light pink and dark pink tool. I have pink with glitter, shimmery pink, and then I've got a silver with shimmer. We'll be using the cutting board from my kitchen to assemble our tutu, I'll explain that later. And then we'll need our sewing mat to measure our elastic. To get the correct waist measurement, you'll take the measurement of the waist and then subtract four inches. This is taking into account the fact that you'll be stretching out the elastic as we assemble it. Now overlap your elastic a half inch on both sides. Now you're just going to sew that together and you wanna make sure that it's stitched nice and tight um, so as your little ballerina takes it on and off, it doesn't come undone. If you have a sewing machine and you'd rather sew this part with the sewing machine, go ahead. I thought it was easier to just grab my needle and thread, so I'm just stitching it and knotting it at the end there, and we have our waist. Now it's time to cut and measure our tool. Determine the length that you want your tutu to be by measuring from the waist down. Then you're going to take that measurement number, so let's say it's 20 inches, and you're going to take a piece of cardboard that's 20 inches, or in this case I'm using my sewing mat because it was the measurement that I wanted the length of my tutu to be, and by wrapping your tool around it one full time, it gives you the strip of tool you need to wrap around the elastic. For a single layer tutu, you need approximately 24 strips of tool. So once I've gone around 24 times, I cut the end of the tool to give me 24 single strips. This tutorial, I'm showing you a triple layer tutu. So I actually cut 72 strips of tool. And now I'm just going to line them up the way I want to assemble them onto the elastic. So I decided to take a light pink layer, layered with a dark pink layer, and then another light pink. And I'm going to alternate it with some of my sparkly tools. So I took a layer of the sparkly silver, the light pink, and then the glittery pink. And I get those all lined up. To make assembling your tutu easier, I use the cutting board from my kitchen and wrap the elastic around it so it's more stable. Then fold your tool in half and you're going to slide it underneath the elastic. You're going to take the ends and slide them through to the front so you're making a slip knot. Carefully slide it through to the front. And then I take my finger and I slide it underneath the knot and kind of tighten the knot around my finger so that it doesn't make the tool bunch up and roll. So you can see again here, slide the tool underneath, take your ends, slide them through, and then I'm gonna take my finger under it and tighten the tool around my finger. So I take two of my light pink and dark pink layers, and then I'm going to take my sparkly layer and do one of those. And then I'll start again with my light pink, dark pink layers. I'll do two of those and then one more sparkly. And you'll just continue to assemble your tutu until you've used all 24 of your strips. I'm going to post below the exact measurements and the exact numbers of each color I cut out for this tutorial. And the final step is to separate each layer so that your tutu is nice and fluffy and full. So just pull each layer apart and kind of scrunch them up just a little bit. And here we have our finished product. Ta-da! I've posted a detailed supplies list in the comments below. If you have any questions or comments, please post them. We'd love to hear from you. And you can show your support to The Untidy Artist by subscribing. And check out some of our other videos. Thank you for watching.